today? I had a special request for today's video. Devin Dennis, the father of Wyatt with Wyatt's Lemonade Stand, asked me if I wouldn't mind doing a quick shout out for Wyatt's Lemonade Stand. And I said, absolutely. So let me give you a little bit of a background on Wyatt. Back in 2019, Wyatt was wanting some Legos. Well, him and his family were sitting there looking at a property up in the Black Hills to purchase. Wyatt was outside walking around and he noticed all the bikes riding up and down um, the interstate. And he went in and told his parents that he knew what he wanted to do so he could get his Legos. He told them he wanted to set up a lemonade stand the following year um, during the rally uh, to make money for his Legos. So they did that in 2020, they set up a lemonade stand for Wyatt. And Wyatt did very well. He made enough money to purchase his Legos and put a little bit of money away for college tuition and also made a little bit of money to put to um, give to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which was a charity of Wyatt's choice. That is just, what a special little boy to um, have a heart like that and to want to give to charity. So he did so well that he told his parents he wanted to do it again in 2021. So he did, he set it all up again in 2021 and he had such a magnificent outcome that um, the bikers in the biker community, they, with their word of mouth and sharing it on their Facebook pages, and then the news, the local news heard, got caught wind of it, and they went and they interviewed little Wyatt. And so last year, Wyatt had a magnificent um, turnout, able to donate $32,000 to St. Jude's Children's Hospital last year. You know what? Good job, Wyatt. I mean, how outstanding um, that you would even take the time out of your summer to stand there in the sun and wave at all of us bikers um, and to give us free lemonade. I mean, you're somebody to be proud of. You're, you are a wonderful little boy. So he wants to do it again in 2022. And his goal for 2022 is to make enough money to donate $50,000 to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And I tell you, I think he can get it done. I think he can. You know, I'm willing to do this shout out for him and I will probably be interviewing him a little closer to the rally um, and get the word out there yet again. But this is what I have to say, Wyatt. You build it, we will come. I, I just believe wholeheartedly in that. His philosophy is that as long as he wants to continue to do this, as long as he has the turnout. And all I can say to that again, you build it, we will come. And, you know, let's just show him our support here in 2022. He's off of the Tilford exit, which is exit 40, just on the south side of the inner of I-90. And you have to kind of head back a little bit east like you're heading into Rapid to get there. I will throw a little map up um, also of where he's at. And his stand hours, he's going to start July 30th. And his hours will be on the weekends from 10 to 6. And during the weekdays, he plans to be open from noon to six. So, you know, all I can say is I am so proud of you, Wyatt. I mean, this is a beautiful thing you're doing. Keep it up, young man. You, you are just definitely someone to be proud of. And to all of you, continue to watch my channel. There's going to be updates coming as the months get closer to the rally. And uh, I really hope you liked the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. 
And also make sure to hit that notification button so you are notified of all the updates that are, are coming our way. And until next time, I hope you all have a very beautiful and blessed day. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Oh, I'm gonna get you this. I'm gonna get you this one now.